Hello my fellow riders, have you ever wondered what it would be like to own a Lambretta? Today we're going to be looking at the Lambretta V Special 125cc Pirelli Edition. So as you can see this is a V125 Special. Um, the thing that makes it a special I think is mainly the tyres and the colour. So it does come with Pirelli tyres which is quite unusual for um, a Chinese-esque bike. Uh, the, they say that these are not Chinese. The parts are Chinese, uh, it's put together in Austria so it's a bit... So, start the bike up, let it bike prime. And we start it up. So there's a couple of nice things uh, about this. Uh, you have a battery meter, time, miles, fuel, and uh, rev counter, and you have an analog speedo, which it does say miles per hour and uh, kilometers now. Also, it comes with indicator lights, engine management lights, and a fuel indicator as well up here. So when your fuel gets really low, it will uh, come on. A couple of nice features about the uh, this bike is it has a Lambretta badge on the front that does light up and one on the back as well. And one of the things we really like on this bike it's got this and a cutoff switch and it comes with Lambretta's uh, pack. So, which is uh, another quite unique thing for this bike, it actually comes with three keys. You've got one master key and two standard keys. 99% uh, of all other bikes come with just one key. And then you've got your rather large uh, Lambretta manual in there and a nice key ring. So there's a lot of modifications you can have to this bike. Um, Oh, you can put more mirrors on if you want. You can put a back rack, you can put a front rack. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll start it up and we can have a look at the uh, lights. Another nice thing with this is it does actually say good morning and good night on the clock, depending on what time it's set to. So as you can see, it's got a Lambretta light, which actually lights up. And you've got high beam and low beam. Nice LED indicators. And as I say, those Pirelli um, tyres. The other good thing about this bike is it does come with um, ABS. Which is quite unique to a 125 as well. Um, As you can see there, the uh, little round disc with loads of holes in it, that's your ABS and it picks up on those holes and will pulse the brakes accordingly. Also, as you see, is the back light. The whole fit and finish of the bike is really quite nice. Um, it will do about 65 miles an hour. It won't do that when it's brand new.
So the spec on this scooter it is a single cylinder four stroke air cooled uh, engine and it comes in at 124.7 cc. That's an output uh, of 7.5 watt kilowatt hours at 850 rpm. It is belt driven and it is air cooled. It's also Euro 4 spec which means it has to have either electronic carburation or fuel injection combined braking and the headlights have to be on all the time. Also with this bike um, it does come with ABS and the ABS is an extra feature that you don't really have to have by law but it does make quite a big difference. And the main selling feature for this bike I'm guessing uh, out of the other uh, Lambrettas is it is the Pirelli edition so that means that it comes with better tyres than normal which are the Pirelli ones. Design. The bike is based on a uh, Lambretta from the 1960s, 1970s sort of era uh, with a modern twist. So it does have a steel tubular frame and majority of the panels are metal uh, with some plastic ones thrown in there for good measure and to keep the weight down as much as possible. So it comes with those really nice lights that have a Lambretta emblem um, inside them and they do light up. And it comes with the, the rear one has the same, it's got a Lambretta emblem on it as well. These have a fixed front mudguard, single shock on the back and uh, twin shocks on the front, obviously. Uh, some of the old Lambrettas only had a single shock on the front, this one obviously has two. Um, it comes with a nice seat on this. Uh, the seat is fairly hard when you first come to it, but it is softer after a while. And it also comes with that front compartment. In the front compartment there is an additional um, locking feature where you can flick the switch and the bike won't start. I think it runs off the uh, side stand circuit, so it would be the same as if you had the side stand down you won't be able to start the bike. Another nice feature is that when you turn on the dash, the um, the heads up display will light up, it will say Lambrette, it will say good morning, good night, whichever, depending on um, what the time is. So compared to some of the other Chinese scooters, there is a lot more um, emphasis on design for these sort of bikes and a lot more time has been put into the fit and finish of them. cost of riding on this bike. So it is £3,099 plus £100 on the road and that comes with two years MotoGB Lambretta warranty. The tax on this will be included in your first year but it will be £20 therefore after and you don't have to get an MOT for three years. Miles per gallon, you should be looking at somewhere between 80 to 100 miles per gallon, and these come with a 5 litre tank. So they are designed primarily for uh, riding around um, towns and cities and stuff. That was one of the pitfalls of some of the older bikes. Uh, some of the scooter club they complained a little bit about um, the Milanos because they only had a three and a half litre tank and they had to fill it up every hundred miles or so. I hope you've enjoyed my video and I would hope you would consider maybe purchasing one of these bikes. If you've got anything to say please comment below or if you've got any questions also comment below. 
hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated to all my latest content but most importantly ride safe